Even before the plant was finished, some departments started moving in. Seemed like a lot of space to fill, but we soon filled it. The complex telephone transmission equipment which we make here requires an enormous array of tools and machines, raw materials and parts and people working together as effectively as the products they make. Finding the most efficient location for each department was like solving a gigantic jigsaw puzzle. Specially designed conveyors provided part of the solution. No matter how big or how small, any item can be easily transported to any department where it's needed. The pin's location in the tray is like an address on a package. The tray stays in storage until the parts it holds are needed in the manufacturing area. An automatic signal starts the tray along its preset route. Such complete flexibility enables us to manufacture a great variety of items as they are needed with the economies of quantity production. The pin, the address on the package, turns the tray off with the proper spur. Even Laurie knows a lot more about telephone transmission now that she's working here too. But when she was a little girl, she used to pester me with questions all the time. <laughs> if I told her once, I told her a hundred times how we can send more than one conversation over the same wire. To explain it to her, I'd compare it with radio broadcasting. The announcer's voice, I explained, is placed on a special frequency. Though his voice becomes mixed with many other voices, placed on different frequencies by other radio stations, she could separate it from the others when she tuned her radio. Similarly, when we make a long distance call, telephone transmission equipment places our voice on a special frequency. It becomes mixed with other voices, placed on other frequencies as they travel across the nation. At the other end, Telephone transmission equipment, also tuned to only one frequency, separates our voice from the others. It seems simple, but the equipment that makes this possible is pretty complex. Manufacturing this equipment is our job at Merrimack Valley. It takes many skills to maintain the high standard of the Bell system. For the engineers, this means constantly trying to develop better methods of manufacture. For others, it means operating a lathe or a drill press, winding coils, or using a multiple head punch press to turn a variety of raw materials into a multitude of piece parts. For some, it means assembling these parts, along with parts purchased from hundreds of independent suppliers. And for still others, it means wiring or soldering the electrical network until each unit is complete. It gives you respect for people when you realize that each of them has learned to do his part of the job well.